Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the how to iterate through a tuple using a for loop. So let's get started. We're going to create a tuple. There's going to be names inside that tuple. We'll have uh, Tom, uh, Tom, and we'll have Mike, we'll have Jake, and we'll have Graham. All right. So there's our tuple of names, and then we're gonna go ahead and loop through it using the for loop. So we'll say for item in names, all right? And basically when we loop through or step through this iteratable data type, which is a tuple, we'll put each one of these objects in with item, all right? So it'd be a temporary variable right here, and we'll do something with that. So we're gonna go ahead and say prints item, all right? Hit return, return, then we get Tom, Mike, Jake, Graham, sweet. All right, so that's easy enough, but how about if we do something a little bit more complicated so you guys learn something here. Let's go ahead and clear our screen. Let's bring up uh, that tuple again so we don't have to rewrite it. <clears throat> this time we're going to put the names, we're going to make them lowercase and put them in a new tuple. So we'll do new names like this, set it equal to an empty tuple. And we'll say for item in names here. And then we're going to step through. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Put the new names that we have into the new tuple and we're going to use the assignment the addition assignment operator here uh, so we're going to say plus equals so we're going to go ahead and assign it to the new names and then we're going to set the new names variable to whatever objects that were already assigned to that so <clears throat> then we're going to go ahead and um, create a tuple with our item and our our item and our method to modify this name so we'll do uh, item dot lower like this so we're gonna make it all lowercase then we're gonna need our comma because we want this to be a tuple and then our parentheses hit return hit return and we'll call names that's not gonna work we'll, we'll do it like that so we got tom mike jake and graham sweet all right so that worked but there's two important things i want you to realize here one is the plus equals assignment operator. So each time we step through, we added Tom, and then we assigned a new value to that tuple, and we reset the variable to represent the new tuple, all right? Because every time through, it made a new tuple, adding a value and adding a value and reassigning new names to a new tuple. But we got our Tom, Mike, Jake, and Graham out of it. The next thing we got is the parentheses, the parentheses and the comma here, we have to make this a tuple if we want to go ahead and uh, add these objects into it. It has to be in a tuple format, but we cannot use the tuple built in function. Why, you may be wondering. Well, let's take a look. Let's do four item in names like this. And then we'll do uh, new underscore names and we'll say plus equals uh, tuple and then we'll do item dot lower like that and hit return, hit return, and we call new names, watch what happens. Boom, all right, so this is from our first run, what we actually wanted, and this is our second run using the tuple building function. We got Tom, Mike, Jake, all right, so basically what happens is the tuple building function step through each one of these and went in and put them, um, step through each string and broke it down into single character string objects and put them in there. So if you have any questions about how to use uh, for loops with uh, Python on tuples, please let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.